Uh, I will show you how to install the solar power system and then uh, how to connect uh, each component. First of all, uh, we need to choose uh, uh, suitable solar panels and make it in, uh, in series connection and parallel connection. Our hybrid 6 kW hybrid converter, the rated voltage is 48 volt DC and the MPPD uh, checking range is 72 volt to 150 volt DC. So if for the uh, for example your solar panel uh, rated uh, working voltage is uh, for example 24 volt or six, uh, 36 volt. If one piece uh, working solar panel working voltage is 36 volt, then you should connect three pieces, three pieces uh, uh, solar panels in series connection, and uh, at least two strings in parallel connect to our hybrid uh, uh, PV combiner. For example, uh, normally for our uh, five kilowatt solar power system. I will use uh, at least six pieces, uh, 500 watt uh, mono solar panels, and uh, those six pieces, 500 watt solar panels, I will connect three pieces in series as one string, and two strings in parallel connect to the high, uh, uh, PV combiner to charge the battery bank. And in our showroom, I, I, I only have two pieces uh, uh, as example. Okay. First, after you install the uh, solar panels on the uh, solar panel racks, first, first of all, you need to uh, connect the solar panels in series connection. In series connection. In series connection, that means the uh, first PV combined uh, uh, solar panels positive side connect to the uh, second piece solar panels next side to connect them in series. After you finish the connection uh, of the solar panels, the next step is to connect the PV array with the PV combiner. Okay. If you buy a condenser solar power system from us, we will provide you all the components, all the necessary components you need. For example, the cables, PV, PV cables, battery bank cables, like that. <clears throat> After you finish the connection uh, of the PV uh, solar panels, just bring out the uh, PV cables we provide to you. Remember, the red one is connect to the uh, PV array positive side, and the black one connect to the PV array negative side. After you finish the connection of the PV cables, Next step is to connect the uh, PV cable to our PV combiner. Okay. This is our PV combiner positive side. Positive side and this is negative side. So the red one, PV combiner, connect to the positive side. And connect to the uh, positive side breaker. Okay. After you finish the uh, connecting the positive side, then next step is connect the positive uh, negative side.
after you uh, finish the connection, then use the multimeter to check the uh, voltage. Okay. Check the voltage of the PD array. Let's see. See now the PV array voltage is 57.1 because we are only connecting two pieces of solar panels in series connection and the solar panels is inside uh, is installed inside the building there's no sunshine at all so 57 voltage is normal after you use the multimeter to check the voltage next step Is, con uh, is connect the uh, PV combiner uh, with the hybrid inverter. I have already prepared two cables. If you are uh, connect, uh, buying the complete solar power system from our company, we will uh, provide all these cables for you. All the necessary components we will provide for you. Also, the same, the red one is connect the positive sides. Next step is the positive uh, negative cable. Okay, now I have already uh, finished the uh, cable connection uh, about the PV combiner. Please take a, take a look. <coughs> these four breakers can, is connected to the PV array positive side, and these four uh, breakers connect to the PV array negative port. And the bottom of the breaker is to connect the hybrid inverter MPPT charge controller input port. Okay. After you finish the uh, installation uh, system connection about the PV combiner, remember one thing: do not turn on the breaker first. Do not turn on. Remain the breaker off. Okay. Now the uh, breaker is turned off. And the next step, I will connect the PV combiner. Output port, positive and negative port, connect to the uh, to the hybrid inverter PV input PV input port. Let's connect to the PV input first one, positive. Remember the positive cap uh, red cable connect to the positive side. This is the uh, PV input positive positive side.
and the positive cable connect to the PV input negative cable connect to the PV input negative port Okay, now I have already connect, uh, finished the connection between hybrid inverter and PV combiner. You, if you want to check whether uh, on the above uh, uh, operation, whether you are connecting uh, correctly or not, and there's one very simple uh, uh, method to check, uh, 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 check whether you are uh, connecting the system correct or not. Use the, just use the multimeter. Just use the multimeter to check the voltage on this PV input port. Okay. First of all, you turn on the breaker of this uh, PV combiner. Now it's on. Then we check these two the cable, positive and negative port, and see the voltage whether it is same. Okay. The, the voltage right now is uh, about 51 that means uh, on the above uh, operation movement we are doing correctly now the, uh, all the cables are uh, connecting well after you use the multimeter to check the, uh, all, the, all the voltage you remember to turn, on, uh, turn off turn off the breaker then let's move on the first step the first step is to connect uh, the hybrid inverter with uh, our lithium battery bank. Okay. I also prepare uh, two battery bank cables. The red one is the uh, positive cable and black one is the negative cable. Remember to add one breaker on the cable battery cable. Remember, the breaker should turn off. Turn off the breaker, okay? When you do the uh, installation. After you install the uh, positive cable to the battery bank, next step, connect to the uh, hybrid motor positive side.
Okay, now I have already finished the connection between lithium battery bank and our hydraulic water. Let's put these two, cup, two pieces covers back. Okay, and then next step, if you want to turn on the hybrid inverter, first of all, remember to turn on the lithium battery bank. See, now lithium battery bank BMS is on. The battery bank voltage 52.7, okay? Next step, let's turn on the bracket. And then, wait a few seconds, press this on off button of the hybrid inverter. 